Hello guys and welcome to Watch In Time. Today we're going to be reviewing a watch in hand. Obviously, as always on the channel, if you like it, please subscribe. I don't do videos talking about watches that I don't personally own. So any watch that I'm going to be reviewing, it's a watch that I am owning and I will be showing to you. And I think this is important because sometimes I lose a lot of time going through YouTube as a watch appassionate looking for resources on some watches and I just find people talking about things that they have not really seen in real life, which I really hate. So I just wanted to put this out for anyone that is new to the channel. Please subscribe if you like the content. We are going to be talking today about the Squale. Squale 1521, a, more, a watch design that you know probably very well. There are thousands of information and as you have probably click this video is because you want to see the latest collaboration so we are talking here of a limited edition done with the artist second second a french artist that dedicates his life to vandalizing watches which is actually a pretty nice idea so instead of doing uh, you know street art um so he is a watch passionate he has always thought that things needed a twitch to look better and he dedicates himself to create new designs new funny and on your face changes especially sometimes to the seconds hand on watches and in this case he has been doing collaborations for a while with several companies personally and this is between brackets i think this has been his year he has been very busy this year. He has been collaborating with everyone. Uh, he has been collaborating with Timex. You have second, second Timex limited editions, micro brands like Isotope. You have other brands like Spinnaker and many others. So there has been a busy, busy year for him. Vulcan, oh my God, Nevada, Grenchen. I was just very, very surprised. Everyone wanted to do something with second, second this year. And I wish this guy the best. I hope next year he's going to be doing more of this because he offers something that it's a little bit different. And I love that. So here we have probably the most classical 1521 Squale that you can find, the black one. So you have the black bezel, the black dial and I wouldn't have bought it at all because I'm not a classical guy I like things that jump into your face like this 1521 that I have owned for a while now that is totally orange so why did I decide to buy this one and sometimes I like black but I have other black watches but in this case this actually was the special touch that I needed and it was the modification that he has conducted not on the second hand as he usually tries to do which i would have loved for example i will have and this is just my personal opinion love to see a second circular dial in which the squale actually turn around maybe transparent and just swimming around i would have liked that uh, and and the video promotional video that they put the first ones actually made me thought that they were doing that and getting rid of the second hand, which in a diver probably has a little bit of sense and having the squally just going and swimming around would have been nice. But anyway, what he did was to move the squally actually upwards, kind of looks like he's coming out of the water, which is a really nice, elegant touch and just biting a piece of the hours hand. I think this is perfect. He has touched this watch in a minimum way, plus his signature here at Atmos, the small s, and still, it is still the Squale 1521, but it's also a second second. And it's a small detail that you know when you are wearing the watch. I love it. Uh, I think it's a nice way of touching something without really vandalizing. Probably this goes against his rules, but it's the way I see it. Um, so I, I had to get my hands on one of these. They were available for a day, probably 100 pieces is not much. So now they are all sold out. 
nothing to say uh, or to add on the on the case, the dial, etc. Because you know it's quality very well probably. And if, as I was saying, if you're looking for this, you're looking for what Second Second has done. But I have a pain point that I wanted to share with all of you. And it's that sometimes I cannot believe myself how companies that are doing something special and bringing something special to you, the buyer, the collectionist, they just sleep, what we say in Italian, on the banana eh, on the floor before getting to the finish line. They have done perfectly. They were winning. They were like there and they just sleep before they get there. So some of you will be asking me, what did they do to deserve this affirmation? And the fact is that this is a professional watch for diving. So it actually has an intended purpose, which is diving. So what do you need from a watch, a diver watch? You need, first of all, to be water resistant, of course, but the second is that you can actually look at the watch and tell the time when you are diving. Yes. And this is not the case. Why? Because they committed a very frequent mistake sometimes on low quality control, which is as they are producing probably the dial and the hands and minute hands in another producer, third party producer, there is usually this homogeneity between the lume. Uh, this is something that you find a lot on some companies, but usually they still need to do their work, which is actually glow in the dark. And this is not the case. You have a dial that works and, and Squally is not famous for having good glow in the dark lume, huh? by the way. But anyway, it works because they are divers. And as you can see, they turn very quickly and Please bear with me. This is a UV light. So this is going to be charging the watch in a way that normally sun rays will not. And then you have the hands and the minute hands. And even if they look right now, like they have charge, you can immediately see that there is such a big difference between the hour markers, the minute hands and the hour hands. It is very, very noticeable. And as you have seen already it has changed much more from before and it's almost gone. This means that the lume paste that they have used in the minutes and the hour hands is scarce. And if you see it with a magnifying lens, but you don't need one, you can actually see it bare eyes. You will see that the lume on these hands is actually quite grainy. You tend and kind of see the background. This means that they have not been properly filled. So is this something that is happening with all their watch, hands, minutes, and hour hands? I don't really know. What I know is that, is this the only watch that they have done this and it's a mistake from quality control? That I don't really know either. What I know is that I have bought a full price watch that doesn't work for the intention, which is actually diving, because I wouldn't go diving with this watch with a problem like that. And, and it's a pity. It's a pity because I love the collaboration and I love the watch. Um, this is a classical Squale. I love Squale. And I, I just don't really know why they make these type of mistakes. It's really a bummer. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Um, and if you have any questions, if you want to comment, please drop me a message. More than happy to chat and see you in the next video. Until then, please take care.